40 hours they've been cooking the beef. Wow, look at it over there. And good morning from this windy morning here in Pakistan. We're in the city of Karachi in the Sindh district of Pakistan. And uh, we got off a really late flight last night, arrived in our hotel at like four in the morning. And so we haven't had breakfast or anything yet. And uh, I'm feeling pretty hungry. I am too. <laughs> so we actually did some looking up about this. Let's cross the road here while we can. Had a bit of a read up about this. Now, the most traditional breakfast that you can get in Pakistan is a dish called Nahari. Now, unlike in the West, in Europe, in England, things like that, with like pancakes and cereal and sweet stuff, they get straight to it for breakfast here and go for a meat stew. So we've actually looked up and found the number one place in Karachi to get Nahari. So we're gonna try out the best Nahari in Pakistan and it's coming just up here you can see there with the uh, Pepsi logo on the side maybe they're selling cold Pepsi but uh, I yeah. love a cold drink <sighs> it's extremely hot it's like 37 degrees Celsius here despite it being the morning and uh, yeah very excited to get a cold drink and a hot meat stew <laughs> So here it is, New Zahid restaurant here in Karachi. Let's try the best Nahari in Karachi. Let's see how it goes. There's lots of people around here, so this is a good sign. Salam alaikum. Maybe this is Nahari? Nahari? Oh, around this side. Shukriya. Okay, so oh, maybe we have to go upstairs. Salam alaikum. Wow, is this it here? Ah, this is your Nahari? This is Eknumba Nahari in Karachi. <laughs> it looks delicious. Wow. Okay, he said we have to go upstairs, so... I'm so excited to be here in Pakistan, guys. Just, wow, it's been a long time, long time coming. Got a million comments off you guys saying we should come to Pakistan. And here we are, allowed to eat the best breakfast. Assalamu alaikum. How can you Acha. Ah, just uh, sit anywhere? Oh, we can sit over here. Ah. Shukriya. Bhai. Okay. Look at this view. We've got the best seats in the house under the fan. Yeah on the porcelain streets of Tariq Road, Karachi. Yeah, you wanna sit here? Yeah. Okay. I'll sit on the side. I don't know how it works here, I don't know how you pay or whatever, but uh, uh and egg in the hurry, egg nari and um um dough pan in half pan in nari half um full full um half half in the hurry. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't ask him for the bread. <laughs> well, we're gonna try it. Maybe we're missing the bread, we'll see. Because I think it, it, you get like a cutlery with it. Like, I don't think, I don't know if it's like a eat with a bread or eat with a cutlery. So we'll see how it goes. But, it's very good service. Ask for some water and it's already here. Oh, Mahal Chukriya. Oh, nice and cold. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna go down well. 37 degrees in the morning. Wow. Ooh. Let's get this Nahari. This is a uh, compliments. Hello? Adrak. Adrak. I wonder what that is. It looks like, I wanna say ginger. Yeah, it looks like, like French fries that haven't been cooked yet. French fries, Yeah, maybe it's like a, a palate cleanser. Yeah, it's ginger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here it is. Ah, Nari, nice. And so this is um, mutton? Uh, beef, beef, beef. Beef. This is beef, okay. So it's a beef stew. I definitely think we're going to want some bread with this. Yeah. So it's like a beef stew. 
It comes with uh, with this, which are like as condiments. Looks like some chilies. Small lemony lime. Looks like what's that one? Yeah. I can't tell in this part of the world they have like a different species of like lemon and lime where it's like in the middle. <laughs> oh, we got the bread as well. Ah, thank you. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. I love the air bubble in a bread. That is the best. Oh. Are you gonna pop it? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Crispy, freshly baked bread. Well, now the bigger, maybe it's like in a tandoori or. Okay, let's just let's just try the the oils and the sauce. I feel like I've got Look a at that. Bowl here. Yeah, you could <laughs> fill that up with. Okay. Mmm. Wow. It's really sweet. Is it? So like, I was looking at that thinking. It reminds me of like a Chinese kind of sauce, like the way that it's like, um, like, like obviously bright red in color, and it's kind of like, uh, it's like sticky, like what's it, what like syrupy. Yeah. It reminded me of like you know like a sweet and sour or something like that, but then it is actually sweet. It's also really spicy, which is good because we both love spicy food. Have a try of that. Oh, it looks like you're getting like some of the meat stuff. Sweet and spicy Pakistani breakfast at the number one breakfast joint here in Karachi, Pakistan. Let's get a bit of the prize. The main part that we've all been waiting for is that even that's not a big enough piece of bread. I think I'll um, take a bit of bread here. Wow! Look at this in the way it just crisps off. Okay. Let me see if I can just grab a few pincers to see what we can do. It's, it's, it's beef on the bone, but I'm gonna just pull. Oh, look at the way that is just pulled away there. Beautiful, tender beef. Let's get plenty of the spice. We love the spicy food. Let's try this. Mm. The beef is so soft. I actually heard that in order to cook this breakfast, they have to roast or like slow cook. Excuse me. They have to slow cook the beef for like eight hours or ten hours, sometimes like twelve hours. So they're probably making this breakfast like last night after the close for the evening meals, and then they start making the breakfast all overnight, cook it in the pot, and just let it slow roast get all the juices cooking in its own fat. Absolutely unbelievable. Just if I can just see if I can pull that away again. Look at this guys, watch. Oh look at that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um no this is okay, I think. Okay. Yeah, should be it. Wow. Looks like bottomless nan. <laughs> That's so lovely here. Yeah. Everyone's so nice. This, wow. This is the best first impressions of any city. Is to try that best breakfast in the best breakfast place and get service like this. Look how quick that came, guys. It like, came here, asked for some water, the water came immediately, ordered Nahari, it arrived, and then we're getting bottomless. I've only eaten about a third of the, of the naan, and he's bringing me some more. What a place. This is our first little taste of not only Pakistani breakfast but Pakistani hospitality and it's uh, as you guys promised you said it's the best hospitable most hospitable place in the world and it's proven that way already on day zero mm. do you ah. want to add any of those chilies to the dish? I, I will say this right I love spicy but it doesn't need any more spice. What about a bit of, try a bit with the lime on it. Yeah, like let's do that. it up with the bread and then squeeze the lime. Okay. 
Try and use only right hand, okay? What, what, what should I do? Pick it up with the bread first and then squeeze the lime. I'll squeeze ah, the lime on top for you. I see what you're saying, okay. Right, oh, sorry, I used my left hand. I know you're all <laughs> gonna tell me off for that. Right, can we get any more beef? Oh, it just keeps, oh. You ready? Yeah, let's get loads of lime on there. Oh, you're pouring that on your hands, not the meat. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay, let's try this with a lime. Mmm. That makes a good difference, that. Very nice. Let me uh, wipe my hands a bit here. Don't really recommend Nahari. You get some of that, uh, some, of some of that beef. You chose a crispy bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. Bit of lime. Bit of lime on there. Oh, have you put a chili on mine? I put a chili <laughs> on it. Oh, crikey. Go and try it anyway. Pakistani spice. Mm. She's got the Pakistani <laughs> spice level. It's so tasty with the lime, the zest that yeah. it adds. And that chili was spicy. <laughs> yeah. Spicy chilies. Wow. But yeah, I think the, the zest and the acid of the lime, it does perfectly by with a really fatty beef. Because that beef is so fatty, it's so tender, it's like literally it, it's just like it caramelizes upon contact of your mouth. Absolutely amazing. You know, it is extremely savory. It's sweet, but the, the spice and the, the beef, the deep beef flavor, it's very, very savory. And it's not something you would usually have at breakfast. But I can see why they do, because I could eat this any time of the day. It's absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Let's turn mine into a little bowl. You got a nice little <laughs> soup spoon there. It's so good. Wow. I'm so glad this is the first thing that we've eaten. Yeah. It, it was worth the wait. It's our first Pakistani food ever. So, Pakistani Sundabad. I can wholeheartedly say that after trying that masterpiece right there. Alright, I'm gonna uh, have a bit of water, cool off my tongue. Okay. The last, last bite to polish this up. I'm scoop up that bit of beef. Wow, there. look at all that. Do you approve of New Zahid <laughs> Nahari? It's so good. It's so, so nice. Is it the best breakfast you've ever had? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly a unique breakfast having spicy, slow cooked beef stew in coconut oil and just delicious gravy as they would call it here. That's what they call like, uh, in England we would say like, oh curry sauce or, or whatever, but they call it gravy here. But I don't know the exact ingredients of it. If anybody knows the ingredients of how they make, what the spices are, what's involved in Nahari, please uh, leave the a same comment. It would be completely alive, yeah. probably is. Yeah, it probably just, it might not even have coconut in it. Just we could taste something a bit sweet in there and we just guessed that it might be coconut but let me know if it's not, if it's something else because uh, what an incredible meal that is. Un unbelievably delicious. But uh, yeah, let's find out how much it costs because I don't know yet. We'll see how much uh, how much all this was. We've had a 7-up, two bottles of water, uh, nice in a hurry. Ah, it came just like that. <laughs> Shukriya, bhai. Shukriya. There we go. Okay guys, the whole meal is only 680. 680. 680. That's like uh, $2, um, $2.40 I think. 229. $2.29 guys. For 7 or 2 bottles of water. I can't even get a bottle of water in Newcastle for $2.29. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. That's, uh, wow. And this, they kept offering more naan. Yeah, they kept bringing around Nana, as you probably saw, just constantly, just like, every time I like, took a bite of Nana, we were like, it was if we were like some sort of fancy bachelor party, and they were topping up champagne every time we took a sip. But uh, this is Pakistan, guys. Unbelievable hospitality, serviced so well, so attentive, the staff here, 
and uh, a really filling, delicious meal. That's had hours and hours and hours of preparation gone into it, and a whole price of $2.30. That is just absolutely unbelievable. What an amazing place this is. Let's go and uh, pay the bill and see what else we can find on this amazing Tariq Road. Ah, shukriya. Bohot shukriya. And uh, you, you're making downstairs? Yeah. Yeah. How do you just make downstairs? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Kidna hours uh, cooking the beef. Mm. How long is it? How much? 40. 40. 40 hours. Wow. That's crazy. And um, the naan is, is in a tandoori oven or, or different? Because it's. We can see bubble. downstairs. Can I see? You can show us. and naan. The the naan. Naan or shirmal. And uh, the one with the bubble. <laughs> the bubble. Yeah. The crispy naan. Ah, nice. Can I see? Yeah. Ah. Uh, are you from? Uh, England, sir. Uh, Jack Inslee. Jack? Inslee. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, you can see. Oh, this is like the, the other restaurant. It's just funny. 40 hours the beef is being cooked. 40 hours they've been cooking the beef. Wow, look at it over there. Look at it, they're just like making it in this big factory. And then they just launch them into that like bath. That's amazing. Ah, bohut zabardas. The naan bohut zabardas. So delicious. Bohut bohut achi. I am looking how they are making. Yeah. When it's done, they just. This is so hot, honestly, guys. This is so hot. The steam out of here. Yeah, and we can see. Can you see just in there? There's a tandoori oven, and they just. Ah, right. Mafkije. And uh, they make it in there, they stick it to the sides of this tandoori oven and then they just plant it like that and then when it's cooked and it's raised and the bubbles come out, they just launch them into here and you get freshly made naan. That is absolutely amazing. And then the hurry. Hello. Salam alaikum. Oh, he wants me to come here. <laughs> oh, salam alaikum, bhai. Aap kese hai? So, so delicious. I want to offer you a food. Ah, uh, we just... Uh, I'm sorry, but we just... Uh, I saw you guys from uh, abroad. So I said, hospitality from Pakistan. That's so kind. I have seen you in the media for uh, some... some videos on the, on the food spots. Uh, food spots? Uh, no, I don't know. Not in Pakistan, this is my first day. Yeah, first day in Pakistan. Yeah. Maybe he thinks I'm Harry Jagger. <laughs> yeah. So any question you have in about Pakistan? Uh, what is your favorite food? Biryani. 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 Uh, <laughs> mutton biryani? No uh, vegetable. Or mutton biryani. Mutton biryani. Okay, we need to try mutton biryani. What is your name again? Naim. Naim. Naim recommends mutton biryani, so we have to try it. So if you order something, you can have a video. Uh, but I already made a video on the hurry. And I show the I show cooking the bread and uh, some something to drink. Um, just uh, water. Water. Okay. Not too clear. So do you live close to him? Sorry. Do you live close? Yeah. So, tell me, where is your favorite place in Pakistan? Yeah, see, I have been to many places in all over the world. Yeah? Okay, where is your favorite place in the world? Karachi. Karachi, number one. Act number one. Food. Yeah, the food. Yeah. Number one. Well, we're, so far, we agree. People, <laughs> number one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's been so kind. Today we had yeah, uh, a lot of places, very good. In the world, a lot of places. Yeah. I have been to Brazil. Brazil? I wow, we love Brazil. I have been to Peru. Peru? I have been to... Hablas Espanol? 
They respect. It's a it's a relationship over respect. Mutual. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you like the food here? Well, this this was our first meal in Pakistan, and it was amazing. It was zabardas. I want to pay for it. No, I already, I already paid. I mean, you're so kind, brother. It's your time. Jena. What's your name? England. And uh, may I greet you? Greet. Pakistan. Yeah, 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 Pakistan. Tell me one thing. She is watching. Being traveling here, were you scared? Scared? Yeah. No. Not at all. No, not scared. So this is a message you have to give to the world. Yeah. We are here to tell the story. Yeah. To the people of Pakistan because because the media have spent so long trying to portray this um, xenophobic message of like uh, well, it's an Islamic country and um, there has been war and all this stuff. But the reality is, is that this exists on a government level, or this exists in foreign affairs and in these extreme scenarios. But the, re the true day-to-day -day life is people like you, exactly. and people like uh, the, the Karim driver, or, or the, the guy who served us in the Hari. These are real people. And these are real stories that need to be told. And so, our mission is to tell these stories of the amazing people of Pakistan. It's a, it's a very respectable. Yeah. Okay. Shukriya, Naeem. Shukriya. Okay, Shukriya. Thank you. Shukriya. Wow, what a friendly guy. And here it is, look, the Nahari, all different types of Nahari by the looks of it, or different foods. This looks more like the one that we, uh, we ate today. But look, for a full-on operation. It looks like Halim, I think, over there maybe. Ah, yeah. They're cooking on the fire. Look at that. Yeah, it's nice Nahari. Bahut Zavada cooking on the fire and you create this delicious meal that you've got there. So you got that, that other thing over there is Halim. And we're gonna try that later. We'll try that in another video. You will see that soon. But yeah, Shukriya. Oh this was mine, I left. Ah Shukriya. Okay. Okay. Shukriya, Shukriya. Shukriya. Wow. Okay. Woo. What an unbelievable meal that was. Okay. Wow. What about that juice I said I wanted an hour ago? <laughs> <laughs> and we got some fresh juice here and we wanted some of that. Salam alaikum bye. Salam. Okay, see ya. Um uh Mehariya Sehun. Shukriya. Ju uh, juice is uh you're making fresh juice here? Yeah? Oh wow. Um, which flavors do you have? Uh, juice flavor. Oh, I can see juice flavor. I can see you over there. Oh, perfect. I need some fresh juice here. Apple, peach. Apple, mango. Oh, wow, mango what is sounds your good. Juice? Yeah, what's your favorite? Peach. Peach is your favorite? Okay, egg, peach. But no, no ice. No ice. No ice, yeah. Let's get his favorite. 
यार नाम क्या है मोहतराम हेलो थैंक यू हर में और नो नाम हरमान शेरहान इस इस शेरहान का पीच जूस इस नंबर वन फेवरेट फ्लेवर ओह इस इस कंडर लुक एट दिस गाइस सन 38 डिग्री सेल्सियस नाउ एब्सोल्युटली रोस्टिंग हॉट Oh, he's got some coffee, I think. But he's going to cut these peaches here. You can see just there. Skinning them. And then they'll get freshly pressed. Well, will they get pressed or will they get blended? I think there's a press in the back there. So he's going to press them after he's very delicately taken all the skin off them. I think he's going to. I think he's going to blend it. I can see a blender in the back. Look at these Boston streets. This guy. Assalamu alaikum. This guy has a. Um, it's a Real Madrid kit in PSG colours. You can get anything here in Karachi. Yeah, we can't have ice. Oh, he dropped an apple. An apple fell. Hi, how are you? Ah, you're from? I'm from England. England sir. Okay sir. What are you buying? I'm from Pakistan sir. What are you buying here? Oh, what is this? Whatever you want. This is Kheer. Kheer? Yes. What is it? A sweet dessert. Sweet dessert? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. What is it? It's like, it looks like a rice pudding. Like rice? Milk. Milk. Milk pudding. Milk pudding. Oh, very nice. Ah, love that. Actually, we'll try. How? Kidna. Only 150. Only 150. Okay, we'll try. It's a bit of a dessert from our breakfast. Okay, egg, egg, uh... Murphy. Yes. So we got a peach juice and a milk dessert. Sounds good. So he's just blending it all away. He's mixing it with cold water. That's so kind. Because we can't have ice because it's made with a tap water normally. And it's unsafe. He's made it with cold water, which is very, very nice. So it's going to be nice and cold, peach, cold, fresh, blended juice. Wow, this guy has a whole lot of bananas coming down the street here. This is going to be so refreshing. And after that spicy meal, we're going to have a nice sweet dessert. I'm so excited for this peach juice, you know. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Kidna is 224 and also, um, yeah, we're egg uh, pudding. And the juice, kidna? 370. 370. Oh, nice. Is this pistachio? Yes. I love pistachios. Thank you. Oh, that looks good. Shukriya. Good. Yeah, we're So that freshly made peach juice and the two desserts is uh, about one dollar twenty, one dollar thirty. Very, very good price again. Shukriya, bye. Okay. What do you want to try first, the pudding or the drink? Oh, so we, we'll move over here. I'm ready, ready. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. The table is okay? Uh -huh. No. Very big now. Ah, it's okay. Right. Okay. We'll try. No. Oh. This is fine. Yeah, we can. <laughs> he insists. Shukriya. Oh, this. See the flies are around here though. <laughs> right. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Let's try this juice. Fresh Pakistani peach juice. Oh. It's so sweet. That's exactly what you need. Zabadas. So sweet. 
It's warm, but it's so refreshing still. Have a try, shall we? Mm. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, it's like so fresh, and it tastes like the peaches are like just right. And we've got this pudding still. Let's give this a little, a little go. What oh, a stick! Wait. Try that. Yeah, it's like it's just like rice pudding. This is my hand. Oh, this is a, a mineral. Mineral. Oh, okay. Oh, amazing. Shukriya. Oh, shukriya. Okay. It looks pretty clear. Yeah, he said it's safe, so we have to trust him. He's a very friendly guy. Let's see how it is cold. I think it'll be a lot better. Mm. Maybe it hasn't cooled down just yet, but... It is, yeah. Especially like up here with the ices. <laughs> I don't think I've even ever had peach juice before. I don't think I ever had. Right. It's not like a common, like, you don't see it down like the juice aisle, do you? No. Well, that's absolutely delicious. Well, I'm going to try this. So what do you think it tastes like? Like rice pudding. Like rice pudding. It does taste like ripe pudding, and it's um, it's sweetened with honey. Can you, you see, taste the honey in it? I didn't. I don't have a palate as complex as yours, you see. <laughs> well, like I say, this is a uh, perfect dessert. Following that um, spicy meat stew. And it's like 30 cent as well, mm. just for this, isn't it? Yeah. The price is here. Yeah. so good. You can't even go to the toilet in London Victorian train station for 30 pence. Guys, when we were in that restaurant talking to uh, Naeem, the guy we just met, I said I needed the bathroom and uh, he like got one of the members of the staff and he like sherpered me to the toilet and waited outside for me so he could give me um, one of these to dry my hands with. That's so kind. <laughs> it's just, this country is incredible. Well, I'm going to finish enjoying this lovely Dessert, and then we'll go for a wander. Oh, oh hey, Thank you. Thank you. Have, have a good day, okay? okay. Good day. Hi, love to do. Hi. Oh, what do you have here? You have glasses. Yes, sir. Sunglasses. Which yes. type? Very cheap, sir. Look. Very cheap. Very cheap. Wow. You get Star Pro Plus. Uh, these ones are too big. Sir, I have branded. You have like, other one also. I like brands sir. Do you like any of these? Let's try to see. It's adjustable, sir. Oh, oh it's got more in here. It's a Prada, sir. Prada. Prada. Very, wow. Very fast, don't wear Gucci, don't wear Prada. <laughs> Prada. Look at them. I do wear Gucci. Do I wear Prada? <laughs> you look like a millionaire. <laughs> How do these Why look? Like? You look like you're in uh, <laughs> Robocop. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, different ones. Two one, man. One is bigger. Three hundred. No sir, three hundred. No, it's the it's brand sir. Oh, it's brand. Yeah, first copy. This one's a Louis Vuitton. Oh wow. English white. LV glasses. LV. LV. Yeah, I see. Yeah, first copy LV. First copy. Shop to pants, sir. I'm yeah. not sure I like any. Yeah, not style. much. Not much choice for this one. Need more basic. Uh, Chini hi, magar shukriya. Magar habis. Chai, chai, hey. I do want a pair of sunglasses. That's yeah, he did. Whoa, there's like things. There are things, guys. Um, we try this at the end. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had a massive problem since arriving here in Karachi, and it's not been the food, and it's not been the people, and it's not been the weather, but it has been. Halifax bank card. <laughs> <laughs> the ATM machines. They are simply not taking our credit card, which we use for traveling in 30 countries we've been to. They just uh, they accept it, no problem. But here in Pakistan, we've had a major issue where it just doesn't recognize the card. And we had the entire morning and last night without any money at all. We've had no money. We were asking strangers for some help to try and go to the airport to try and get some money at the airport. 
and um, the taxi guy just took yeah. a risk us being like when we get to the airport we'll have money yesterday <laughs> we took a, a taxi from the airport to the hotel and I paid him with 10 English pounds and said you're gonna have to just try and convert this to, to rupees because uh, salam, uh, wa salam. because um, yeah I just I literally have no money so they're like really nice and air conditioned. Yeah, yeah, so in you'll notice if you come to South Asia, you end up uh, in these ATMs which are fully locked. Well, not locked, but fully closed doors, AC machine, and then you you know. You, you could lock it if you want. I guess you could. Yeah, you could, you, could, you could lock it for security. But uh, our boy there is waiting with the sunglasses again. <laughs> He's not giving up on the sale. He wants to sell his LV branded glasses. Let's get some money out. But before he said 300 wasn't enough. Yeah. And did you hear him then? He offered 150. Yeah. <laughs> 300 Norway branded at 150. Okay. <laughs> as expected, as the story goes of our time here in Karachi so far, no luck. Still not able to get the money out. We're still surviving on the. Uh, I don't know, we've got about like. But literally eight. like 12 pounds we took out earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. Nice, yeah. Shukriya. Shukriya, like. Um, yeah, we're surviving on like the eight pounds or something that we have left. So, we'll see how far it gets us. <laughs> Look at this building, guys. It reminds me of like Las Ramblas in Barcelona. Like the Gaudi style. It almost has that kind of feeling to it with so much dimension. All the different funny shaped balconies coming out. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? We're trying another ATM, mutual funds one. But uh, yeah, as soon as we can get out money, the better. But otherwise, we're surviving on. You didn't even let me put my pin in. <laughs> didn't even, yeah. It just reads the card, sees it's like a foreign card, and it just spits it out or just says it can't process the request. Yeah. The thing is, is it allows our current account card, but there's so many fees, isn't there? Can't keep taking yeah. money out of our current account. On the debit card, it works fine, but uh, yeah, it's like 30% charge or something like that. It's just ridiculous. Obviously, if we need to, we're gonna have to just do that. But yeah, so first impressions of Karachi. You know, we've had delicious food, absolutely incredible food. Really, really friendly people. Like that guy, Naeem, what a lovely guy he is. And uh, and credit card issues. So. That's uh, the first impressions on our first day. Difficult to get cash. So if there's any way if you're coming here, if you can source some Pakistani rupee somehow before you get here oh, or... Yeah. It said that you can transfer US dollar into rupee. But I've not got US dollar. <laughs> yeah. Potentially try and get dollars out before you come here in cash and use that to exchange to get you by for the first couple of days or something like that but uh yeah it's uh it is a bit of a problem uh, i'm not really sure on what advice to give you to to fix that problem but we will find a resolution <laughs> once we find one we'll update you well this is just a massive street with various different shops on it banks on it but here's the streets of karachi pakistan if you know if you're not pakistani is this what you expected the streets to be like or is it different to how you thought let me know it's always nice to hear ah, it looks like uh, some royalties driving through here there's soldiers with machine guns all on the back of these trucks and it was just a convoy of uh, Toyota Hiluxes just driving through here and they were stopping all the traffic to let the convoy go through it's very interesting every every car had a big boot and there was like four soldiers in the back of each one. Okay. The one thing we haven't had yet, now we're back in South Asia, is chai. Oh I'd love the chai. We need to get some chai. Honestly, I've never ever tasted a hot drink as good as traditional masala chai that we had in India and I want to see what it's like in Pakistan and that will really uh, get the first impressions of this place going we've had the food, we've met the people and now we need the chai Let's see if we can find some 
चाय 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 क्या है चाय? चाय? चाय। सीधा आ जा के साथ में चाय हो आ, बहुत शुक्रिया शुक्रिया ओके सम जस्ट डाउन हियर ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड वॉक ऑफ द मार्केट टाइप एरिया सलाम अलैकुम या इस एट टर्न राइट या ओ लुक देयर सम सीट्स some seats yeah we should be able to get some chai the guy the local recommended chai uh uh do chai meherbani so let's get some delicious pakistani chai so chai is uh oh, is some milk big vat of milk there and it's going to boil that milk so the milk that's boiling away <laughs> he's followed us <laughs> uh say again what hasan what uh, what do you have to say message to pakistan <laughs> pakistani sindh <laughs> baat Like they got shy. <laughs> He was talking to the camera and then ah, we're cooking good now. That mum care. Yeah, good. Say again. Yeah, yeah. Nidaf, that is. Nidayat. Nidayat. Ah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Wow, there we go. Look at that. All the spices are going in. Sugar? Yeah, sugar. Sugar, nice. Sugar. Sugar come now. What else? Cardamom. मसाला बहुत अच्छी बहुत अच्छी हाँ बहुत शुक्रिया शुक्रिया नाइस गाय शुक्रिया बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया लगे दस गाय Oh, there we go. Ah, oh. I'm so excited. I know it's going to be so hot. Like I won't be able to drink that for a while. But uh I'm so excited. Love the way that it was made. I don't know if you saw guys, but he was like stirring it from the main pot that was bubbling away and pouring it under his hands and then tasting it from his hands. I mean I can barely even pick this up through the uh <laughs> through the cup so hot it's like a little english tea with me cup and yeah. saucer <laughs> look at this this is how they serve you chai in pakistan so good i can't wait to taste it i'm like anxious because it's i know it's going to be so good if i put my lips on that it's going to burn my lips off though i know that <laughs> Yeah. Isn't this just lovely? Sitting here on the streets, everyone's having a nice chai. In the nice early afternoon. Assalamu alaikum mataram. Ye main main angrezi hu. Angrezi hu. Angrezi. Ha, main hu se. Which country? England. England. We coming here for job. Ah, no, just for travel for for sightseeing. Yeah. Tourist. Yeah. So I can taste delicious chai. <laughs> I I am here for chai. Tea and Pakistan. Yeah. Most popular, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Shukriya bhai. Everyone is so welcoming. Everyone just wants to like say hello and like wish you good travels, don't they? That's like, oh, it's wonderful. You know, the fact that the media has made this a place where people are worried about traveling here and you've seen just what it's like in our first morning. 
is uh, it's quite funny to be fair, just how it's the complete polar opposite. You tell people at home, oh yeah, we're going to Pakistan, you, you see the reactions, you know, and, and this people is... People from my part don't think I'm coming home. Yeah. Maybe I won't come home because it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't return from Pakistan because it was too nice. <laughs> I'm going to try this. I might burn my lips, but I'm going to try it. Whoa. A little chai skin on top. <laughs> Oh, there it is, that feeling a few years ago when you've been to South Asia a couple of times when you've been out oh, of the continent job. for a little while and you come back and have that first sip of chai, it's just even better than you remember. It's just, it's mind blowing, you know, tea in England, in my opinion, I'm sorry. It's so bland and just boring and tastes like wet cardboard. <laughs> this, this is what it's all about. This is it right here. Absolutely, just, it's this almost is, too flavorful, it's so good. This is the OG tea, yeah. like we're going way back. Yeah, <laughs> the original tea. <laughs> Try that again. It's, it's even hard to hold in my hands like this because it's so hot. Oh man. This is it. Sitting in the warm, warm breeze of the back streets of Karachi here. Having a chai, meeting some nice people. This is just what it's all about. So, so happy to be here and just unbelievably happy about this series. I hope you all, you know, if you're enjoying this, subscribe and just follow along the videos because there's going to be dozens of videos coming from Pakistan. It's been a journey from the most southerly point here in Karachi to one of the most northerly points right up in the Himalayas of Skardu. Um, just so excited for this. Cheers to that with one. Boiling hot chai. Yes. Oh. Zabadas. <laughs> Zabadas. <laughs> Very delicious. <laughs> and that's it. Beautiful, Did you drink all beautiful the way to chai. The yeah, I drank. You even drank the chai skin. Oh, it's blown away everywhere. I even drank the chai skin. Wow, that was amazing. So, so nice. You kidna? Uh, I don't know how much that is. Do you know that number? Yeah, I'm Kidna? You know that number? It's 200... Oh. 150. 150. Okay, you can... Uh, it's okay, you can keep the 50. No. Okay, you won't keep Okay. Bohat, bohat chukriya. Pudar Havis. Wow. Well, aren't we lucky all numbers are in the same? Yeah. I never thought about that. He, he, sort of, he wrote it out. <laughs> he wrote it out on his plate to show us the number. Mine this. Yeah. Watch out for these. Look at these spaghetti junctions, guys. This is what they do when the electricity goes down. <laughs> they just come and hook up a new line and leave them all in there. Well, the chai did not disappoint. That was absolutely delicious. Very friendly guys, just a group of young lads having a, uh, just a chat, just a 20 minute take out of the busyness, of the craziness of Karachi, Pakistan here. And uh, yeah, let's see at the bottom of this road if we can get on one of them buses, I want to experience a local Karachi bus now that we've had some food, we've met some people, we've had fresh fruit, pressed juice, and we've had some chai. I think we'll have some bit of try out the local transport here. And I don't think we could have got a better first impressions. I don't think we could have got a more comprehensive first impressions than doing all that. Certainly, like, yeah. Nobody, it's never too much just like standing tall to somebody. Like, everybody just wants to like welcome you. They absolutely do, and they're like waving us over, you know, when we're in that. Uh, wow, I think it's, uh, it's a mosque. Wow, that is amazing. I absolutely love the architecture of mosques, and one of my favorite things about traveling to this part of the world is hearing that call to prayer. 
haven't uh, heard it just yet, but um, it's such a magical moment. I absolutely love it, the way that it just echoes throughout the city. What uh, an unbelievable uh, place this is. I'm just, now, I'm, I'm more excited now than ever about this journey through Pakistan that we're going on. Just can't wait, like, think about all the other people that we're gonna meet, and this is who we've met in just day one. Absolutely uh, amazing place. So excited to be here. So, I'm not able to find any of these buses that I've been seeing, so I might have to try and do that uh, another day, which is uh, no problem, because we're here for plenty of time, but we need to get down to the Clifton area, so we're gonna see if we can get a ride in a tuk-tuk. And uh, there's a couple here, actually, so. Assalamu alaikum. Um, uh, phase six, Janti hai. Phase six, Clifton, Janti hai. Uh, uh, kidna? Kidna? Uh, uh, kidna? Five, four hundred? Five hundred? Two uh, uh, many is some try. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand what he's, what he's saying. Sorry. Uh, kidna rupee? Rupee? Chaso. That's, that's five. I think that's yeah, 500. Dubirfia Avenue. You know the this one? Yeah, the one that's going to come here. The Marina Club? Uh, you know? Uh, Marina Club, do you know? Marina Club. Do you know? Do you know? Yeah, look around. Thank you, bye. Okay, I don't think he knew. Uh, there's some more, another guy over here. Assalamu alaikum. P6, jump in here. You can take? Yeah. Kidna Rupi? Kidna Sufi, Sufi Kier Street. Jump in here. Hmm? Ready? Uh, Kidna Rupi? Angreshi? Ah, no. Three, four, six hands. 800. 800. Uh, 500? Okay. Hey. Ah, okay. 600. 600, chalo. Chalo, bye. Okay. Chalo, chale. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Suweb. 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 Okay. Well, we got our we got our rickshaw, we got our tuk tuk, and uh, we're in the streets, in the busy streets. There's a few people uh, begging around here, um, which is uh, it's normal in these uh, same in India, same here. As soon as you come to like a busy intersection, a lot of them they will uh, approach you. Uh, um, they'll approach you and try to sell you things, but the the. Like you saw, she was selling a pen. It's because it's not really about buying it, it's about a donation. So the driver has 2,000 IQ move here. Instead of waiting in the traffic, we'll just drive on the pavement. If the cars are stuck in traffic, become a pedestrian. Wow, this is tight. Expertly maneuvered in the tiniest of gaps. I think we're ahead by a good one car there. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely made up at least three seconds of time. We are. I absolutely love sitting here in a tuk-tuk. Just fresh wind in my hair. Go along the bustling streets. Look at these guys here. Everyone's just so friendly, man. That's my first impressions, is that everybody is so friendly. The food is delicious and it's difficult to get cash. <laughs> That's my first impressions. Have you enjoyed your first? Wow! <laughs> and there's a few puddles. Have you enjoyed your I love first it. morning in uh, Karachi, I Pakistan? I absolutely loved it. People are lovely, the food's amazing. What more do you want? And it's already great for budget travellers, it's so cheap here. So even though we've really struggled to get money out, 
we haven't needed much. I think this taxi is the only thing we've overpaid for. But uh, that'll do it. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. We're nearly hitting 100,000 subscribers. And if we could hit that while here in Pakistan, now that would be amazing. To show you uh, support, it's just so much appreciated for us. And um, if you leave a like on the video, that would be amazing because there's so much more Pakistan content coming. And if you leave a like, YouTube will probably show you the next video as well, if you're interested. But yeah, thank you so much. Can't wait to start this new series of videos. Pakistani Sindhavan.